Hello and welcome to my first ever YouTube channel. Hello and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Today I'm going to be going over my 2024 journal lineup, uh, the journals that I'm going to be bringing into 2024 and how I plan on using them as well. So let's get started. The first journal that I'm bringing into 2024 is this beautiful pocket bullet journal by Dingbats. Um, I love this brand, I love what they stand for. They donate some proceeds to a wildlife conservation, uh, which is incredible. So uh, this one is in a beautiful forest green cover with a little deer emblem. Um, and I use my pocket bullet journal just as a monthly overview. I find that the, the month overview is probably my most useful spread. Um, so if we take a look on how I'm using it here, I like to do a little decoration. I kind of went overboard with these little dots because I didn't quite know how to fill the space. Uh, nevertheless, I do enjoy this. <laughs> I think it looks very nice. Um, so I'll just do a little monthly decoration um, and then have my month at a glance. I do a 4x4 four four, um, dot grid square to just have my month and I find that everything uh, fits in here exactly as I need it to. Sometimes I'll venture off and I'll have a little wish list and a package tracker. Um, but just in general, it's kind of my feel good journal. It's where I put most um, most of my like inspiration or if I have a like a mood board, this is the journal that it's going to go in. And it's worked wonderfully for me so far. Uh, if you're curious about the specs of this journal, um, it is a cream page. I would say it's creamier than the Leuchtturm. Um, it has more of an off-white to it and it is uh, perforated at the edge here which um, for the size is not my favorite feature just because I worry about the pages um, falling out uh, but people, maybe you, may find that um, useful and it also has a little pocket at the back here. So this is the first journal that's coming with me. The next journal that I'm bringing with me into 2024 is kind of a journal set in combination with each other. It's the Hobonichi Techo Journal and the Hobonichi Weekly Supplement. So to begin, I will refer to this beauty here. Um, this is going to be my project task management book. So in my monthly, I'll kind of duplicate what I have written in the Leuchtturm, or the Dingbats, pardon, um, but I will also use it as a way to keep myself accountable for um, creative projects that I want to get finished. I find that um, if I'm not really on top of how I'm using my time, then I am scrolling on the internet. Um, so I will just be setting myself deadlines, and then as I go, hopefully I'll be able to cross those off. And then in terms of my daily, I'm just going to do a uh, really simple um, to-do list, like just a running to-do list for the day, um, which can include things such as wake up, because sometimes, you know, you want to give yourself that extra check. Um, and then the rest of the space, I'll use it as a kind of commonplace um, section, so then I will just use the um, yearly overview as an index. So let's say I had a really good idea for a book on Wednesday, January 10th, then I would just go to Jan 10 and write in book idea and that's how I will just kind of organize my thoughts a little bit better. Um, if you're wondering about the case, this is the Hobonichi Han A6 cover. I know that it slightly hangs off the tops and the sides, but because I have these beautiful beautiful tabs from Midori. I don't mind that. I think that they're protected in here, so I quite like that if you were curious about that at all. Um, and then in terms of the weekly supplement, kind of along the same lines, I want to start time blocking just so I can really see how I'm using my time, where my time is going, and hopefully um, use my time better because time is probably the most valuable asset that we have. So, you know, maybe I'll book myself I'll do a 12 to 3 writing session um, and then I won't be scrolling, doom scrolling into the, the depths of the internet which is always tempting. And that's how I'm going to be using this guy right here. 
My third journal that I'm bringing into 2024 is the Hobonichi Techo Weeks. This is the English edition, Monday Start. Um, it's beautiful yellow color. I think it's super uplifting and it's perfect for what I'm going to be using it as, which is a health journal. Um, and I'll show you how I'm gonna use it in my 2023. So I don't know if you have noticed, but I do struggle a little bit with some um, eczema and um, I really want to be able to heal my gut um, and hopefully some of my allergies as well. So I'm going to be using the weeks as a health journal. So at the beginning of every week, I will do a little grocery list of what I'm going to be needing to support my gut that week. Um, and then for the actual week, I will use this as a meal meal planner tracker so i'll just write down a little meal plan for monday breakfast lunch and dinner and i will probably add in um, just a dotted line in these two to kind of separate them and then on the right side of the page i will have a little habit tracker here just with some meditation water um, and exercise and then to the to the right of that i'm just going to have some gratitude each day um, I'm really hoping that incorporating all these things will just better support me, my gut, and my mental health as well. Um, and then I will use the index um, just to mark off any recipes that I thought made me feel significantly better, um, or maybe they were just extremely tasty or really easy, um, but just have, you know, a place to kind of keep track of that as well. Um, and then in the let me try and find a blank month um, in the monthly section is kind of undecided i'm not quite sure how i'm going to use this um, but i might just kind of use it as a tracker for how i'm feeling so that's how i'm using the hobonichi weeks and the final journal that i'm bringing into 2024 is the traveler's company notebook uh, this is the standard size i have this beautiful little zip pocket with some stickers in it um, and the brass clip, which is a classic. Um, I like the freedom of having a blank blank page. This is just the regular blank insert from the Traveler's Company. Um, and I'm just gonna be using it as a diary, your everyday diary, um, <laughs> kind of a no frills diary as well. Um, I didn't wanna limit myself by putting my diary in like the Techo or something. I find an undated version is much more freeing because I don't wanna write every single day and I don't wanna have to write every single day if I don't feel like it. So anyway, it's gonna be a diary. <laughs> yeah, not much to say there, um, but I do love the leather exterior, the smell, the the feel is super nice. Um, I think the hardware on this journal is also really nice. Um, so yeah, that's my final journal coming with me. And that is my 2024 journal lineup. I hope you enjoyed. I'm kind of expecting things to shift around a little bit as the year progresses, but I will update you guys on that. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.